Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, it's Pastor Kathy, and this morning I am going to be doing the Sela, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the light of God's healing. Um, I want to read a passage to you before we do anything else, and then I have some thoughts to share with you. This comes from Mark, and it's verse 40 and 41, and it says this, now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying to him, If you are willing, can you make me clean? And Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. You know, I read um, this uh, story and I was um, reminded of a song um, that we sang years ago. It was by Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir, and it was called The Light of the World. Um, and um, the chorus is, um, the light of the world is Jesus, shining down with love for you and me. And um, when I thought about that, and I thought about this topic of um, the light of healing, um, I just was um, really thinking about that, and that, you know, God came um, he came into the world um, to save us from our sins, to give us eternal life. And he also came into the world to bring healing to us. And I know that um, with as many of um, you that might be watching this, that there's so many areas um, of healing. And it's not always um, just a physical healing, but that it could be a mental healing. It could be an emotional healing. It might even be that you have... Um, a hole in your heart still because there's somebody that you love that has already gone um, to be with the Lord. And so those are areas that God wants to bring his healing. And what I loved about this is that it says that the Lord was moved with compassion. Um, and that is his heart for us, that his compassion is so great that not only does he um, not want any of um, his children to be lost and not to spend eternity with him. But he also wants to bring that healing um, that brings us into wholeness. And, um, you know, when I thought about that and the whole idea of healing, um, we know that the word tells us um, that we have to have faith to believe um, that God is the healer and that he has already done that work for us on the cross. Um, but in this passage, um, if the leper had not had faith in his heart, he would never have come and asked God, are you willing? And so this morning, I just want to encourage you that God's compassion for you is so great that he wants to bring total wholeness in every area, in every aspect of your life. So um, my challenge for you in the next um, week to come, maybe two weeks to come, is um you may have already asked God to do a healing. You may have already said, you know, God, like my heart is broken and I need you to bring healing. And he already knows that. So what I'm going to ask us to do is that instead of asking him, he already knows. So we're going to begin confessing to that thing. Lord, thank you that you're bringing wholeness to my heart. Thank you that that ache that is still there, that you are taking that away. And that I'm walking in the joy um, that you have for me. Lord, Lord, in my body, um, I still feel this physical pain, but I thank you because your word says that you came to heal. And so I claim that over my body today. I speak to that thing and I thank you that it is turning around right now in Jesus name. So as we continue in the next couple of weeks, um, as we look forward to Christmas, just know that he came for you. He is the light of the world. He is the light of your healing and that his love for you is so great. And so um, you're going to just have an incredible, incredible experience and encounter with the healer because his light shines for all the world to know.